Hello my friends, the JP data download just came through about an hour ago. Global should be getting one as well very very soon. And these following characters were added to the database in preparation for their release. Namely, we have the AGL Cell Jr, the Int Android 16, as well as the AGL LR Gohan. This is his TUR form and this is his SSR form. And of course, the Int um, LR Cell is TUR form and also is SSR art and you guys already know about the STR Hercule and the AGL Perfect Cell from the Goku vs Global campaign and we have the new Battlefield uh, Int Krillin this is his SSR or sorry that was his SSR form this is his TUR form and also one other card I'm very very excited about the Battlefield Android 18 and this is her TUR form as well and at this point, most of you guys should know the details for almost all of these cards, except for the two new Battlefield cards. So let's pop over to um, the Dokkan uh, subreddit and check out the details courtesy of the one and only Goresh. So thank you so much to Goresh for all these translations, as always. And uh, one thing he does make sure... He made sure to mention is that Gohan and Cell remain unchanged, unfortunately, despite all the community's efforts to get you know, Bandai to make some adjustments to the restrictions on both cards. Um, it seems that it was ineffective. I'm not saying it's impossible that they'll make changes in the future, maybe buff them in some way, but it doesn't... I don't, I don't remember the last time that's happened, so I wouldn't hold my breath for it. So unfortunately, Gohan and Cell stay the exact same. But on the bright side, the Android 18 and the Krillin are actually really, really good units, guys. So the Android 18 is a sibling spawn category leader, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Her super attack raises attack and causes supreme damage. And her passive gives her attack and defense plus 100% and chance to evade attacks plus 18% and chance to perform a critical hit plus 18%. If there is an Android 16 or Android 17 attacking in the same turn, gain an additional attack and defense plus 80%. 80% and chance to evade enemy attacks plus 18% and chance to perform a critical plus 18%. So basically, she gets this base buff. Uh, regardless of what happens and then if you have an android 16 or 17 attacking in the same turn she also gains this additional buff which is pretty freaking insane i can't wait to test her out and see what she can do um but on paper she looks really really good right now her links are infinite energy android assault twin terrors innocence uh, battlefield diva organic upgrade and shadowing the limit and these are pretty standard links for an android um, 18 unit and her categories are Peppy Gals, Android, Siblings Bond, Android slash, slash Cell Saga. So there we go, that's the Android 18. Like I said, super excited for her. I'm gonna be rainbowing her as soon as possible. Trust me, guys. Next up, we have the new Krillin, and our boy finally got some justice. Finesse and Flash Krillin. Leader skill, Android Cell Saga, category key plus 3. HP, attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack is Solar Flare. Raises defense and causes supreme damage with a high chance to Sun, which makes a lot of sense. And his passive is attack and defense plus 80%, additional attack and defense plus 7% for each Android slash Cell Saga category ally on the team, which can get pretty crazy if you have a full Android Cell Saga team. Key plus 4 as the first attacker in a turn, and key plus 2 as the second attacker in a turn, and also perform a guaranteed super attack if there is, or a additional, sorry, additional super attack if there is an Android's category enemy. So if you're facing an Android's enemy, he is guaranteed two supers in one turn, and his links are Experience Fighters, Z Fighters, Turtle School, In Fighter, Shocking Speed, Rival, Rival Duel, and uh, Shattering the Limit. There we go. And categories are Android slash Cell Saga. That's it. But once again, he benefits a lot from being on that team. So that's probably where you want to run him anyways. And there you have the two new cards for the Battlefield rewards, guys. Or uh, I guess for the Battlefield shop. And they're, they're both really, really good. I think the 18 seems better, obviously, with the crazy buffs she gets. Especially if you run her with the 16 or 17. But the Krillin is pretty damn solid too, especially with that high chance to stun. I can see him being very useful in things like Super Battle Road um, and so on and so forth. So I like both of them. I'm happy with both the way both of these cards worked out. And uh, yeah, they're, they're both really good. So next up, we're going to talk about 
something pretty crazy. And that is the new Kamehameha category. So we didn't really have the, all the details. Obviously, it was kind of self-explanatory that pretty much any unit or any character that uses the ability, the, the, the attack, um, should be in the category, right? But we weren't exactly sure what the comp composition was for the category. Well, now we know, thanks to the data download. And I gotta say, guys, it's pretty... It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. So obviously we have the new LR Gohan as the leader and if we just scroll down a little bit Okay, obviously this doesn't excite you too much because this is all the trash stuff But now we have some perfect cells obviously we have the um, the OG LR Gohan We have obviously all the Master Roshis um, But don't worry. It's gonna get better. <laughs> it's gonna get better. We have LR Oob here We have Tech Vegito Blue. We have LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku we have the STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 LR uh, Goku. Oh, what is this? Um, LR Vegito, uh, LR Gogeta, um, <laughs> freaking LR Go Bros. Dude, this category is. It's broken. It's frick. It's, it's mad broken, man. Like, even though there's no Android 16 on this team, which. You know, or this category, which kind of sucks because we do need him. Well, we don't need him, but he's kind of key to getting the active skill, the transformation for Gohan. Otherwise, it's much harder if you have like a Cell on a team. And it's great that Cell is on this category. Um, you might notice that actually LR Cell is not present here at the moment. And I do believe that is an error according to some people that... I think one of the data leakers, I don't know exactly who it was, but... Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about this LR cell, by the way. I'm talking about the physical LR cell. So apparently, um, it was a mistake that he wasn't in this category. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I, I don't see him here unless I'm blind right now. Maybe I'm too excited, but I, don't, I do not see him here. But from what I've heard, that's actually a mistake. And he should be in the category because this guy's super attack literally is a freaking Kamehameha. He's ultra super, right? So, um, yeah, he should definitely be here. I would be shocked if he isn't added later on. So, uh, yeah, I would assume that the physical LR cell is also here, but of course, the new int LR cell is in here too. And uh, on top of that, yeah, all these guys, the LR Fusion, LR Super Saiyan 4, Goku, LR, like, int LR Gohan, LR Gohan and Goten. This might be one of, this might be the most busted category in the game, guys. And I'm not, like, exaggerating when I say that. I actually mean, this could be the most busted category in the entire game. That's the possibilities with some of these units is crazy, man. It's got to be on par or like at least close to uh, the Super Saiyan category, but I think this one might be even better with all the cells and the new LR cell uh, and obviously the, the, the fusions and everything. Dude, this category is crazy. It's a freaking insane category. Uh, I'm very excited for it. Obviously, uh, we got the Goku Blacks too. So I think the way it works is any unit that uses Kamehameha in any of its forms, the, the SSR, the TUR, or the LR form, will be on this category. Oh, also, the uh, Namek Transforming Goku's here too. <laughs> Look at that. Namek Transforming Goku. I'm sure I missed a lot of them, but I kind of like just scrolled through it and highlighted the ones that I thought were extra hype or were extra exciting. And dude, this category is insane. What, what I was going to say, it's, it's so good. It's so freaking good. So even though we've been getting a lot of bad news these days, um, or like, you know, kind of disappointing, underwhelming news. Uh, this is definitely a good sign. I'm definitely very, very jazzed about this. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much... Oh, oh, of course, one more thing I want to cover is the release date of the banners. And if you just go back to the schedule here, it says 1.35 p.m. PST or PDT. PST, same thing, uh, Pacific Standard Time, which is essentially 4.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for me. So that's when I'll be live, guys. I'll see you there at that exact time and uh, we'll be doing some summons together my girlfriend should be there so stay tuned guys uh, set your clocks set your calendars whatever you need to set to be ready at that time to pop into the stream and do some summons with me let's get it done it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna pull a lot of fire i can't wait um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all the news I have for you guys today. Just wanted to give you the info for the two new Battlefield cards. I already covered most of these guys, except for the Android, I think, and the Cell Jr. in previous videos. Just, just didn't have time for that, but it's out there. It's out there. So, um, new info for the two cards, as well as the new category, and dude, I'm excited. I'm definitely, definitely very hyped for all of this. I can't wait for tomorrow. 
Uh, I might not even be able to sleep. We'll see. We'll see. But <laughs> that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative or helpful in some way. And as always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.